morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever and wherever you are. Welcome back to the Beta Plan, continuing our Planescape tournament to play through. And, uh, well, sorry that the last episode was a little long, it was a slugfest just to get down here. And, uh, well, as we picked up a lot of things, we also picked up a little, where is it, note that sent, um, well, there is a trap in the inner sanctum, so I think it's time for Anna to shine. Live the shadows. Like a shadow I am. Live the shadows. Oh. Why not? Right? Right? There is definitely a sword there. I think I need to talk to Cassius, but there doesn't seem to be... Gone. Well... A trap. If this thing is not a trap at all. You see a grossly corpulent man with folds of fat oozing every which way. His eye slowly turns towards you, and when it lands on you, you're suddenly hit with a feeling of unspeakable danger. I hold the true essence of the sword, but you see there is a shallow shell. The blade is me. You must defeat me to reach it. I see. Forget it. Farewell. This voice is carnivorously deep. The sword's powers are the prison's cursed. Its removals are free. All the prisoners condemned to be forgotten. I'm charged to prevent this from happening. Do you wish to bleed? I really just want to leave. Should you desire to true essence of the blade, you must return to me and we shall duel for it. One way or another, we shall duel. Updated my journal. Yeah, that's exactly why I wanted to leave for a short second. If you would just let me, my little man, I am going to change out my eye. I want my full wisdom. And I want the maximum power for my intelligence. Because I believe, and we have picked up another of these, that you are a battle of wits, if I remember correctly. Cassius' voice, Cassius voice roars out from the depths of his fat chest. Do you seek the blade? Yes. His voice is carnivorously deep. The sword, yeah, yes, we know. And yes, we wish the blade. And these are the rules. You must choose between three options. Strengths, wits, and speed. Oh, we had options, all right. Should you feel any of any of these, I shall destroy you. I choose wits. And I shall ask you three riddles. Should you feel I will destroy you and fashion pipes from your skull and play a song of torment on your spirit for eternity. Very well, I ask your riddles. Updated my journal. We shall begin with a classic riddle. What walks on four legs at dawn, two legs at noon, and three at dusk? You know the answer. A human who crawls on all fours at birth, walks on two legs during youth, and leans in a crane during old age. That is correct. For the second record all, I groan, but words never escape my lips. I may be empty, but never am I full. What am I? You know the answer. Are you hunger? Yes, the third riddle is this. What flies and cannot stand still? What devours all that touches, yet eats nothing? What can never be lent, yet it always is wasted? What is always spent, yet never earned? Oh, the answer is time. I wouldn't even look at it. Updated my journal. You have bested me. Your appearance led me to believe that your wits were mm, a match for your scarred exterior. I have failed in my duty, and I yield the blade to you. I must have bought this place. Thanks. How much XP do you get for that? I believe we got a ton for that, but uh, yes, we now have Celestial Fire. Usable by lawful good creatures. Put up. Frickin' frickin' frack, I'm neutral good. I really need some level points. I want to become a little bit more li 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 li. Um So sorry, but you're about to die. Old. I am surprised that actually to ma manage to live. Error. Error. Voila. Well, there is a lot of cash on the ground here. Uh, is oh, it worth we'll picking this all up? Serve. I, uh, well, if it's all these kinds of money things, no. The cursed guards have a little more on their bodies. But it's going to be I a heck of a pain to puzzle that out. You know what? All right. Screw it. Done. Time to go. Oh! And also here there is another fight. Alright. 
But I'm also here to cool some people down. Thank you. And... Do you have another one left? No, you don't. That's a bit of a shame. But we have still some stuff. In this case, Elysium Tears. Alright then, uh, we need more spells. This is also an area of spell, so cast that one. Uh, then, yeah, we're just out of, just going to go out of spells again. Hear you. Um, how come you really I need to go up? And you really need to learn more spells. Uh. There we go. All spells are now dealing the damage that we would like it to do. Um, force missile. All right. Run back until the swarms uh, do a little bit more dirty work, and they haven't finished the job yet, though. I say another swarm. There we go, another two down before they ever reached us. Darn it. Just managed to do nine damage, and of course to our clerk. Ah, uh, right. well. Well, before we might I'm leave, gone. and perhaps on camera, we will come back for all the rewards that we've gained here. But first, we need to turn to free trias, and you can imagine Done. that will be a conversation Done. to remember. All right. And as such, well, as such, I'm I gone. think we may fill a ton of the episode already by just talking to the devil. All right. Done. I'm gone. I'm gone. All right. Now waiting for everybody to arrive. And by the way, there was a different way to handle the thing with Roberta, but we missed out on 2,000 XP. Done. Mm. Mm. And 500 Gumper. Mm. Mm. I think we have enough. It, it, it was not a big deal. Before you worry about it. But that's all I will say about that quest. And the rest is for you to find out, because it's a bit of a doozy one. Try us. You have another question. Yes, I do. Um... I actually already... Is this your sword? It was in the middle of the prison. It looks shocked for a moment, Celestial Fire. You have recovered my blade. Will you free me and strike a blow against the chain? Strike a blow against the chain. The chains sunder easily under the blade and the sound of a thunderclap resonates between your ears. Everything goes black for a moment and you feel the blade vanish from between your fingers. Interesting that we couldn't use it before because we weren't lawful good, but to strike the chains we can. Nordum has improved. 300,000. I thank you for freeing me. I owe you much. What would you ask of me, mortal? I'm afraid I can offer little in the way of boons. His charged wings flutter. 300,000 XP. Do you seek power over the minds of fellow mortals? Do you hope you for wishes to be granted? Do you want wealth? Do you seek more souls to torment? Um, what? I said I had questions for you and then all of a sudden he asked this. I seek knowledge, not power or wealth. Then speak your desire. My mortality has been stolen from me. I wish to reclaim it. Updated my journal. Speak foolishness. Yet there's one who might be able to help you with that you seek. It is a fiend named Fuel Fork Tongue. He shall aid you. The devil's lip quirk and a small smile. He's under an obligation to do charity. And how do Updated I reach him? My journal. There lies a portal to the north of this prison. Its key is a broken chain link. It looks meaningful at the shattered links around his feet, stoops, and presses one into your hand. An appropriate key for one who seeks to leave cursed. My thanks for well. For well, mortal, I have business to attend to. He looks meaningful at the ceiling of the prison and leaps into the earth above him like a diver into an ocean. Well, I thought Done. this conversation would be a bit longer. I guess the longer conversation is later. Done. 
do believe. All right. Well, this whole conversation that's coming I'm up gone. next is also an interesting one. For certain. Now, this door. Done. I'm gone. I'm is gone. It's just to be locked, right? As you approach the door, the link of the chain tries pressed into your hand begins to meet. There's a telltale flickering around the edges of the barbed gate. A portal waits here. Activated! But I'm gone. But you Done. can walk through the portal without entering it. And then you come upon this creature. Um and then we come upon an interesting question. An interesting question which I think is going to involve someone of the party. But we have a mod, and yes. we, I think we can actually leave here, can we not? Nothing happens, oh no we cannot. Well that didn't work, or oh, try to putting it away. Then we might have a very very difficult, uh, difficult thing ahead of us, because this is... Phalor. Before you is a towering empty suit of armor, but the place are suspended in space as if secured over an invisible frame. Red veins run across the length of the metal grease and a huge double-edged executioner axe rests in its hands. Engravings decorate in the surface of the armor, the most prominent of which is a crimson serpent with its wings outspread. Examine the armor. The armor is archic and the shoulder blades are just that. A great ridge of blades sprouting from the shoulder plates. You almost wouldn't have taken the ridge's blade as decoration, but they look too heavy and dangerous to be anything more than an additional weapon on an already menacing suit of armor. The armor bears dents and other marks of battle, and its surface has been scarred by age and rust. Examine the axe. This double-bladed battle axe has remnants of an executioner's axe. The axe and head had been forged into the likeness of a blood-red serpent with its wings outspread. The outspread and stretched wings curling to become the edges of the axe. The axe itself is huge. Even wielded two-handed, it is would, would require a tremendous strength to use effectively. Yet it rests in the embodied gondol of the armor almost casually. Examine the helm. The helm resembles the skull of some creature carved in metal teeth lined from the bottom edge of the faceplate hanging down over empty space. The helm rests in the air, its interior hidden in shadow. Valor. You don't know where the name came from, but you know it belongs to mm, the armor. You barely whisper it, but an echo strangely in the chamber. The air stirs just enough to send a crawling sensation swimming through your skull, and a knot to tighten in your heart. Try to recall the memory. As you stare upon the suit of armor, the shadows beneath the visor take shape, coalescing into the features of a powerful, ebony skinned man. His eyes are like fires and he bears numerous scars. Was this Valor when he wore flesh? He seems hauntingly familiar, both as a suit of armor and as a flesh of blood and human. Valor. Awaken. There is a flare of brilliant red light from beneath the helm, lancing out to almost blinding your own. Shields your eyes from the glare. When you uncover them, you see two embers burning within the shadows of the elm. I have awakened. The voice is spectral, hollow, and echoes within the suit of armor. It is not a human voice. It feels more like a force of presence. It doesn't sound like anything alive, or like anything that ever lived. Who are you? Updated my journal. I am Valor. What are you? I am a mercy killer. As Valor pronounces the word Mercy Killer, Anna and Mort stiffen. Mercy Killer? Mercy Killer serves justice. Justice purges evil. When all have been cleansed, the multiverse achieves perfection. Why are you called the Mercy Killers? Mercy is a shield used by the weak. Mercy is weakness. Mercy is death. No one is innocent. Mercy Killer slay Mercy as whores. Wherever the plague has carried him. Um. We can say that we agree. 
Like, you say, I see I found someone who believes as I do. Mercy subverts just as mercy is weakness. We can say, I see I found someone who believes as I do. What, what's the difference between these two answers? But uh, I see I found one who believes as I do. I see. That seems to be like exactly the same answer. Truth, I disagree. Mercy is strength and there are times when even justice can be unjust, especially when carried to the extreme. Mercy eats at the heart of justice. No one that lives is innocent. What defines justice, Valor? What is it really? Justice is defined by law. Right? And what is law, Valor? Law is a tool by which justice is served. And what makes the laws, Valor? Law is defined by justice. That is a circular argument, Valor. It's meaningless. You say justice is defined by law, which is defined by justice. Law is defined by justice. Living men and women make laws, Valor. Are the laws they make just? Laws are just. But if these laws are made by living men and women who are, as you've said, are not innocent, and then and haven't the laws been tainted by their hands? Nothing that lives is innocent, yet law rises above the flesh and blood. From imperfection, perfection may be made, and all just laws may be refined and bled on of their evil. And you admit laws are not always perfect, but if these laws define justice, then isn't justice imperfect as well? Valor is silent. Yeah, well, this is a way, a path you can take for him to kill himself. What did you say? Yeah, kill himself. But that is not what we are going to continue for. Why? Because we also can have this man on our side. Killing him, that's you expect. 60,000 experiences, but he can also join us and do other things. How long were you imprisoned? Time fled as I lay imprisoned. Time bears no meaning, only justice. You know why you came to Cursed? Much is lost to my journey. I traveled in search of betrayers. They found me and imprisoned me. An act of treachery. What betrayers? Cursed is a city of betrayers. It is a city that defies justice. I came to cleanse it. And how were you imprisoned? Vader is silent for a moment. The embers in your eyes flicker. Vader, do you recall how they imprisoned you? I do not know. Um, well, like I can say I can seek justice too. Will you join me? Um, how did you die, actually? Vader Ember is full science. He doesn't know. I live. Well, matter of speaking, but um, what happened to you? Physical body. As you're about to speak, there's a strange crawling sensation through the back of your skull, and you suddenly know that Vader doesn't realize he's dead. For some reason, you feel that this revelation could prove extremely dangerous. Ah, but we love danger. We laugh in the face of danger. Valor, what happened to your physical body? I live. Although those condemned still require punishment, I live. Valor, you're not really alive. You've become a specter, a spirit, a ghost. There's a heavy, dangerous science. Valor does not respond. Well... I see Jaxus too, Valor. Will you join me? Valor's eyes fall upon you. There's a heavy silence. I will join you. You will. Your will is an inconstant thing, but I shall teach you of justice. I shall teach you the slaying of mercy. 19,000 experience, and I think that actually post joining we can still cause him to die. So for the moment, we will remove Anna. Alright, I'll leave then. But well, that is momentarily. This is Valor. Valor is a fighter. And Valor can do many things. Well, among among the things, he is pretty good at uh, tanking, just like Mortis. But Mortis is actually more resistant to attacks. He also is not uh, hurt by cold. He's also not hurt by magic. That is what makes Valor so extremely powerful, despite his somewhat mediocre um, uh, um, uh, dexterity. There it is, sorry. I, I must have been armoring a lot over the intelligence and wisdom, but I meant the dexterity. He, uh, his armor class could use some improvement. He has access called Final Judgment, and it is, uh, is a plus three, is plus two enchanted, but there's a plus three tackle. It's I will not relinquish that. That is mine. 
body and soul. You cannot have it. That is mine, body and soul. You cannot have it. I will not relinquish that. I will not relinquish that. And he is a spirit, and he is a pretty powerful I fighter. Valor. Because no of the fact mercy. that he is, uh, well, immune to magic, as you can understand. He is of the Mercy Killers indeed, and that is one of the factions, and he is a lawful, neutral character. Mercy Killers are the ones that tend to be sometimes a, a, a bit scary, because they put the laws ahead of everything. And indeed, beyond scene, they are really not a lawful good faction, they are really a lawful faction. Now, there are many things you can do with, well, many things, there are still a few things that we can do with Valor. And I am considering what to do. I am actually considering if I should actually either take him along in favor of somebody else, because... Well, Anna, Anna we are starting to get some romantic feelings with, so I would love to let her go. Um, Balance in all things. I know that Duck on... I don't know. I I, uh, I always find this an extremely difficult thing. Know that the party member here, as you saw the uh, cube didn't work. I, I wonder if it might have done, it was updated because you had the option, but it just doesn't work. That whoever we leave here, we leave here permanently, as you may have understand already, that we are about to leave cursed. So, whoever we leave behind is never coming back to the team bit of a big decision to make here um, but one of the other things that we can do is well dependent on how lawful we are we aren't extremely lawful right now we are neutral good which is a bit of a shame because one of the things that Valor can do is give you an incredible strength boost and experience boost by the more I think it has to do with your if you're chaotic it's only plus one if it's what is that neutral meaning? it's only plus two only plus two strength I say and that is not good enough and uh, if it is um, well uh, lawful you get a plus three freaking bonus and it's also uh, I think to damage roll I'm not sure about that anymore but I think it's a strength um but for that, first of all, I will need to be a fighter. So I am going to talk to Dakon first for a what moment. What is your will? Uh, about your teachings, I would like. No, I thought I could. I was already wondering. Like, I don't think I have something. Um, you're going to go into fighter mode. Four items put in my backpack that I cannot use right now. Um. Let's talk to Valor. To Valor, not to Norden. Valor stands silent and unmoving, where it is not for the flickering red lights in his eyes he would seem but a statue. I want to ask you some questions, Valor. Ask, and I will answer. Can you teach me how to use the axe, Valor? There is nothing I can teach you. It is not the hand that wields the weapon, it is the will. What do you mean? When the will is strong, the blade is strong. When the cause is just, the blade strikes true. When mercy eats at the heart, doubt, hesitation, compassion follow. The blade becomes as dust. My will is strong, Valor. My conviction lends my blade strength. Your will is strong, but you lack discipline. You will. Will is your will, not the will of law. There's nothing I will show you that you would see or understand. Perhaps I sh actually must be actually lawful in order to do so at all. Perhaps that is the issue. Perhaps I actually should be lawful first and then within the lawful category it depends on how much bonus you get. I see. That is a bit of a... What is your will? A shame. Um... Back to being a mage and then it is... And then I think... Well, we need to consider... Either we're going to take Vader along... Or we're going to have Vader kill himself. That are actually more or less the options. I know that sounds pretty cruel, and uh, in a sense it is pretty cruel, but uh, let's not forget that... Well, there's experience in it! <laughs> uh, yes, we all that bad. I, I know, I know, I know, I shouldn't say such mean things. But I can't help it! Um, by the way, we actually had more spells available to us, and I didn't even realize. Voila! Learned more! 
We aren't yet hitting the level 7 spell, so in that case we haven't lost out on much, but... I am going to stop the episode and I am going to ponder who to take along with me. If I am going to leave a companion behind. Now that I left Anna out there, it does not say that Anna is the first to go. But we aren't making use much of her thieving abilities, that is. But it is Anna. I mean, she's been with us since... Well, not the beginning, that has been more than Dakon and then Anna. But still, very, very, very early. I wouldn't like to go let go of Morden. I don't know yet, I don't know. Oh well, I guess you will have to find out in the next episode. I say I thank you for watching and remember, great peril means great beauty.